Hey guys, it's Dana and it's time to talk about money. And in this video, I wanted to share with you some of the top camping accessories that I have found that have helped us when we go camping and also when we go to amusement parks. So let's get right to it. So within the last week, last two weeks, we have taken our kids camping and also to Hershey Park, which is something that we budget for. We budgeted for it a year ago. We paid for it like four months ago. Um, so we have had this in our plans. And uh, so it happened, it happened. And so um, there are certain things that I actually found useful at both places, camping and at the amusement parks. And so I was gonna go through my list of accessories and I wanted to start off at the very top of what I think is the absolute most important thing to bring camping or to an amusement park, especially if you have kids. But the number one thing is, where is it? A Ziploc bag. <laughs> okay, so stay with me. All right, so these Ziploc bags, any Ziploc bag that you can zip, I think are the most useful because you can put clean clothes in it, dirty clothes in it, you can pee in it. I think it's really important to have Ziploc bags. They have served us so well. We take them with us and I could not live without them. Like I said, I sometimes I write the names of each kid on here with the clean clothes. And then if they take off the clothes or they swap out into a bathing suit, I can put the dirty bathing suit in here, you know, put everything in here, zip it up to keep the rest of the bag dry and clean. And then when we're standing in line at the amusement parks, um, or anywhere in the car if you're driving, if you have a potty emergency, especially with little boys and with little girls, um, I have a way to do that, which I'll get to later in the video, um, they can use this to go to the bathroom and you can zip it up and then when you get to the next toilet, you can pour it in there or, you know, you can discard of it. So it's just really important to have these Ziploc bags, okay? Next on my must have is a towel. Yes, I have um, read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and I agree, having a towel is really important. Um, you can use it as a blanket, you can use it as a cushion for your butt. If you're sitting somewhere, you can obviously dry off with it. You can use it as a cover um, if someone's gotta pee and you need privacy, so it's a privacy guard. Also, you can sleep on it as a mat. My daughter at the amusement park, we were standing in line for a ride. It was an hour and 40 minutes, this, this line. And our five-year-old daughter was laying on the towel in line to sleep or rest as we were standing there. And then we'd move it as we moved up. And oh my gosh, if we didn't have this towel with us in our bag, she would have just been like, I just think it would have been a lot worse standing. We made it through the line, made it on the ride. We did that cup fusion ride that's brand new this year at Hershey Park. And um, so yeah, a towel. You have to have a towel with you at all times. Okay, so third is to have card games. All right, these are crayon boxes from Walmart and we put card games in them, Uno and this is charades for kids. So both of the, having card games is really important because uh, hopefully you're doing less screen time when you're camping or you know, if you're in line even, waiting for a ride in amusement park, you can play, play a game while you're standing there in line. So have at least one or two card games with you. Okay, so now we'll kind of get into some of the camping stuff. This is a Sterilite, am I saying that right? Yes, Sterilite bin from Target. It's a dollar, a dollar bin. So clear bins, clear bags, I think are really great to have camping or at an amusement park. We actually have a clear backpack we take us to an amusement, we take into the amusement park. So that way when you reach your hand in, you can see very clearly what you're reaching for. You don't have to like shove your whole head inside the bag. It just makes it a lot easier, a lot faster to get what you need if you are working with clear bins or clear bags. So bins, um, this is a camping bin that we have. I'm gonna show you some of the things in here that I think are must haves. All right, so these are combat wipes. <laughs> I got them on Amazon and they are biodegradable and um, along that potty line talk, I think it's good to have some wipes with you that you can, um, you know, dig a hole and leave there. 
Hmm, what is this? This is a battery powered shower. <laughs> it's an Ivation, it was $30 on Amazon. And basically if you have a bucket of water or you could put this into a stream or river, um, if it's, you know, kind of clear water, you just put this in the bucket of water and then you push the button, it's battery powered, a rechargeable battery in it. And then the shower water will come out. It'll, so you have, and it has a really good, steady stream of water. I was really pleased with the pressure and um, we all showered with this when we went camping for three days. Uh, that was uh, six of us. So it worked really well, battery didn't die and I highly recommend getting one of these. Even we were just so hot when we were camping too and just a bucket of cold water and we just would spray this on the kids to cool off. Um, yes, yes. Next are steel tent poles. These are glow in the dark and I bought these also off Amazon and they are heavy duty and I highly recommend getting them if you're tent camping cause it's gonna, they're just better, better quality, heavy duty and they were worth it. Okay, so kitty litter, <laughs> unscented kitty litter. All right, if you have a five gallon bucket from Home Depot or Lowe's and you can just put a trash bag in it and you dump in some kitty litter, this is, an amazing toilet for the night with your kids. So if somebody's got to pee, that way they can just pee right into the bucket with the kitty litter. And then you can, when in the morning, you can seal up the bag. And so it just, I just think it's fantastic. Doesn't, there's no smells and, um, and it's just easy and there's no sound because I've been camping before and we just had a bucket and the kids would just pee right in the bucket and you hear the drop in the bucket. And when, when you're in close knit campgrounds, I was like, oh my gosh, everybody can hear us peeing in the bucket. But with the kitty litter in the bucket, no sound, completely quiet, nobody can hear, can hear. So yes, I highly recommend a bag of unscented kitty litter to bring with you camping. Or, you know, if you're traveling, it's good for the car too, with the bucket. Okay, so uh, back to what I was talking about before with the Ziploc bag. <laughs> with the girls, cause uh, yeah, we have trouble peeing standing up, but um, you can get one of these Go Girls or one of these funnels. Um, this one's been cleaned and sanitized, but um, I think this is a good thing to try or have, uh, cause that way you can pee standing up if you're hiking or um, along the side of the road. Uh, so yes, this is for the girls to do emergency peeing. Um, you could even pass, I don't know. I don't know if you'd want, as an adult, you might not want to use this in an amusement park line, but um, if you've got a towel around a little girl and your plastic bag and you can stick this in their, you know, in their pants and you can do it discreetly. Uh, this is a rubber mallet and can be used with those steel tent stakes. And uh, in the back of this one is a hook for pulling out the stakes. And this was made it really easy to pull out the stakes and to pound them in when we were camping liked it. And I got mine off Amazon. This is a Coleman, Coleman mallet. Um, if you're going to be showering with that shower I showed you earlier, then this is um, camp suds that I bought and it worked out pretty good. We used this and uh, it's still a lot left in the bottle. And uh, yeah, so it goes a long way and this is biodegradable. So if you need soap, um, you're supposed to sort of, um, wash 200 feet away from fresh water. And then you're supposed to dig a hole six to eight inches for disposing of the soapy water and rinse water. But you can wash your dishes with this stuff and your body, um, clothes. So getting some camp suds is good. I think ivory soap is also works. Okay, so obviously you're gonna need some flashlights. This is from Ikea, it has little stars on the bottom and it's really cute. This is um, a battery powered lantern, old time style that I just got off Amazon. And then this is from Ikea and it's like, uh, when, you when you push the button, it will light up in the dark. So it doesn't work in daylight, but when it gets dark, this one was good. We left this in the tent as like a night light at night for the kids, but you need some kind of battery operated lights. And then lastly, some kind of rubber, well, some kind of not rubber, 
welcome mat, <laughs> could be rubber, a welcome mat for in front of your tent to wipe off your feet and help to keep your tent clean. Um, you can pick these up. The one we have or we had was from Ikea. I think it was just a couple dollars and actually just threw it out at the end of the camping trip. I'll get a new one for our next camping trip next year. But having some kind of mat in front of your tent to help catch the dirt, uh, especially if you have kids, it really helps to cut back on the amount of dirt you're gonna be sweeping up at the end of your camping trip. Obviously you need sunscreen and some kind of bug repellent. All those things you would normally think of are really important. Um, if you can get hats, that's fantastic. Um, when we went camping this year, there was a lake there and I always have uh, swim shirts for the boys. As And I try to keep the kids as covered up as possible. So make sure you're bringing the, you know, as many, um, proper attire as you can to kind of help protect you and your kids when you're going camping, especially if there's gonna be swimming there. I think swim shirts for the boys, those rash guard shirts are really good. I see so many little boys without those shirts, but it's so easy to get burned if you, uh, cause then it's so much more surface area you're having to put sunscreen on. So if you can just cover up as much skin as possible. I even wear a swim shirt when we go. I, I bought a couple shirts with long sleeves and it helps to cut back on the chance of me getting burned when we're in the water, which is the same thing if you're at an amusement park, water park, you know, try to stay covered up as much as you can. Okay, you guys, that's it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas of some things to help make your camping trip or your amusement park visit more enjoyable. Always bring water, 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 water to hydrate yourself if it's hot. And um, hope you're having a fantastic summer. And um, yeah, it's halfway over already. Oh my gosh. All right, so I will talk to you guys next week. If it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money or giving you tips on things you can buy that are affordable and um, vacation ideas such as camping. I do think camping is one of the most affordable ways to travel, especially if you have a large family like we do, which is why we do it. All right, so hopefully, um, like I said, you're having a good summer and I'll talk to you guys next week.